Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I mounted a PWM or digital speed controller for a kayak in a project box for use in a kayak. I'll show you how I made the connections and how I actually installed the PWM in the box. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is a view of the completed and installed PWM box. You can see I have my voltmeter there reading over 13 volts. My forward and reverse switch along with the on off and speed control switch. This is the inside view of the PWM box and as you can see I've got my forward and reverse switch here, my on off and speed controller here and I have all the wiring connected in the smaller slots that are in this PWM and I'll show you how I got the connectors to fit in there and then I also have a gland nut here with a wire covering that leads back into the interior of the kayak and of course over here I have my hookup for the voltmeter as you can see I have my PWM mounted in the project box and I have it mounted to a piece of poly cutting board right here that I use as a base to connect to the internal bolt pattern of the project box. And then what I also did here on each corner of the PC board, I attached it using a screw and underneath the screw I used a rubber grommet which helps insulate it from touching any of the other pieces of metal that might be in the box as well as allows for some airflow underneath the circuit board. Now when trying to hook these up with a minimum of 10 gauge wire for your trolling motor the problem is getting an electrical connector inside the small area. Now this is the smallest 10 gauge ring connector that you can get and as you see if you try and put it in here it's not going to fit. It's too big. So what I did was I took one of the standard blade connectors here and you can see you've got a little hole there that you can use as a pilot hole and I slowly drilled it out in order to get this. And what this allows you to do is attach it using the screws in here inside the box so it will fit inside that little area and then you can connect your 10 gauge wire to it. I wanted to give a little more explanation of how I attached the PWM board into the project box and as you can see I cut out a piece of poly cutting board to use as a base which was attached using four screws to the internal bolt pattern or screw pattern inside the project box. And then I attached the circuit board using four screws on each end and attached that to the poly cutting board. But what I did was, and if I can zoom in here, if you can see, underneath here and that screw is a, there, that's a better focus of it, is a rubber grommet and that helps insulate and lift the PWM board above the cutting board which allows for a better airflow and cooling of the PWM when it's being used. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.